guys, it is Friday. Welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. Tonight we are having something that we've had in the past. I actually showed how to make this a couple weeks back, maybe a month or so ago. It's the best ever sausage tortellini soup. I will leave the video where I made it down below and also the recipe. We just have that topped with some Parmesan cheese. And when I make it before, I usually make homemade bread, but I wasn't feeling it and I went to Kroger today. And this loaf of Italian bread was 79 cents, so I picked it up. I heated it up in the oven for just a couple minutes with some melted butter on top, so it's a little bit crispier than it would be. And yeah, that is what we are having for dinner on Friday night. Hey guys, it is Saturday, and tonight for dinner we are having tacos. So I cooked up some ground beef, got some hard taco shells, as usual, the Uncle Ben's flavor infusion Spanish style rice, some black beans, got some tomato some avocado, sharp cheddar cheese, got some taco sauce, some romaine lettuce. Uh, Lily just has cheese and tomatoes. They've got some mashed up avocado. Elijah has soft shell because it's easier for him to eat and that's what he prefers. And because I forgot to get chips, they're just using some of the hard shells as chips, which they don't care because you guys should see how small that they like break their chips into to dip them. Like, like, like this big. That's how big they'll take a little tiny chip and get a little bit of dip on it and eat it. They do that at the Mexican restaurant too with like cheese dip. They'll like break one big chip into teeny tiny pieces. They're so silly. But yeah, so they're using regular plates tonight just so everything would fit. And yeah, that is their food. This is mine. Just kidding. Um, I have to make my taco salad, so I thought I would include the video of that here. Sunday. What's for dinner? I got cheese and tomato soup. Yep, there's Elijah's because I wanted to and show you. And milk. And milk, yep. We went to Kroger and got some sourdough. Sourdough? Sourdough. <laughs> some sourdough bread. So we've got really big grilled cheeses. And I've got provolone, cheddar, some spicy brown mustard, and we have turkey bacon on here. And then this is just the tomato soup that we always have the hearty tomato from Progresso. And that's what's for dinner for Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. It is Monday and tonight for dinner we are having a leftover night. Yeah. Me and the kids are having this sausage tortellini soup from the other night with the bread and then there's some taco stuff and whatnot in the fridge. So Andy will probably have that. If I remember when he comes home, I will show you what he eats. But this is dinner for me and the kids. Hey guys, it is Tuesday and I am prepping to make dinner tonight in the crock pot. We are just having Mississippi pot roast, which most of you have probably seen how to make this before, but I figured I would show it because it's pretty quick and easy to put together. I have a two pound chuck roast that is mostly thawed that I'm putting in the crock pot. This is seriously such an easy recipe, which is part of the reason why I love it. Um, on top of that, I'm going to add the ranch packet, a packet of au jus, some of these pepperoncinis and some of the juice and then a stick of butter and that's it. And because I'm home all day, I am going to cook this on high and then, and that's partially because it's frozen as well, I'm going to cook it on high. And then when I think it's done, if it's done before dinner, I'm just going to turn it down to low or warm and let it just keep warm until dinner time. Here is the finished Mississippi pot roast. I cooked it on high for five hours and then it was pretty much done. But I went ahead and sh like mostly shredded it up because then it like soaks up some of that juice, I feel like, better. And then I cooked it, I left it on low for another hour and a half until we were ready for dinner. So these are our plates. The kids have the roast. And then I made some broccoli, which I almost burned. And then I made some homemade mashed potatoes. Here's my plate. And I cooked the broccoli and then I put some Parmesan cheese on it. And I almost forgot that I put it back in the oven. So the Parmesan cheese got a little, a little brown. 
but it's okay, it's still good. And then this is just some mashed potatoes. I put milk in there, cream cheese. I would usually do sour cream, but we didn't have any, so I just did a little bit of cream cheese, butter, salt and pepper, and that's it. And that is our delicious dinner for Tuesday. Hey guys, it is Wednesday and I'm beginning to prep dinner for tonight in the crock pot. This is a recipe that Amanda over at Hot Mess Mom shared a couple weeks back. It was for this like jalapeno chicken casserole mac and cheese type thing. And I'm basically just copying her recipe. She made her chicken in the crock pot before shredding it up. And she added a ranch packet and some jalapenos to it. Kind of like Mississippi style chicken or pot roast like we had last night but just with the ranch packet and then jalapenos instead of the other peppers. I'm gonna do that tonight because that's what she did and every recipe I've tried that she's made, we've liked. So I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna do it the way she did it. And if you're not following her, I will leave her link down below so you guys can. She makes amazing what's for dinners as well as like other videos. Like if you need lunch ideas for your kids, she's got it. All right, so let's prep this chicken. I am starting out with I think this is three breasts of chicken and they are frozen because is anybody else like me you suck at pulling out your meat like the night before yeah so it's frozen so that means I'm gonna cook it on high and then I'm just gonna add some of this juice in here and then I'm gonna add some of the peppers on top all right and I'm just gonna put that on high and let it cook I'll be here so I'll just watch it and I'll let you know, guys know how long it took. All right, here's our dinner. The recipe that I loosely followed is called jalapeno chicken casserole. It's the one that Amanda linked in her video, but it's, I kind of just loosely followed this. I followed her recipe exactly the way she did in her video, which isn't exactly as the recipe's written. Um, so I will link her video down below so you can follow that. The only thing I didn't do that she did do is add the crispy, um fried jalapenos to the top they're like the little french's fried onions um they have the jalapenos and she added those to the top i did not do that because i didn't want it to be too spicy for the kids but yeah this is delicious if you don't try this mac and cheese recipe i would definitely recommend trying just the chicken i have this much left over so I plan on making like quesadillas or something with it because it is really delicious. It's got like that ranch flavor and then like a hint of the jalapeno. So that I would definitely recommend. And it was super easy. Like I said, I did three chicken breasts and one packet of ranch and a little bit of jalapeno juice and the jalapenos. And that cooked on high for what was it? It was four hours and then it was done and I shredded it up and just turned this off and let it sit over here. But yeah, that is our dinner for Wednesday. All right, it is Thursday and tonight for dinner we are pretty much just having leftovers. I've got some quesadillas right here that I'm making for the kids with this leftover chicken that I made in the crock pot. It is really, really good with that jalapeno and like ranch packet. Um, so that's probably what I'm gonna have. I'm probably gonna have a quesadilla as well. I'm just not hungry right now, but it's six o'clock. Kids are ready for dinner and that is what they're going to have because I gave them the option between quesadillas or the leftovers of the like, jalapeno chicken mac and cheese, and that's what they chose, which just means we'll probably eat the mac and cheese tomorrow for lunch. But yeah, that is it for this week's What's For Dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe and give me a like, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>